Hey everybody, welcome back to Free Up, a talk show where women get together and talk about certain issues. Okay, ladies, so we have really been going hard on these certain topics that we've been talking about. So let's try to lighten the mood a little bit and talk about some fun stuff. Like what we doing when we go out, how we interact with our kids and family and that type of thing like that. So do you think it's a difference between the way we raise our kids or is it pretty much the same? Um, I think American woman is more lenient against her kids than mm -hmm. African women. African women are very strict on their kids. African I mean, parents, especially the fathers, yeah. they push them yeah. into these careers, but at the end, it's it's one hundred percent worth it. Yeah, 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 it is. I, I don't think it's more. I won't say the women are strict on them. It's just that we don't take certain things. We don't take the. Talk talking backs. backs we don't take uh when i tell you sit down you sit down till i take it up we don't take those things where i tell you sit down and then you get up and walk off yeah see we I snatch you back <laughs> sit down <laughs> I, I beg you differ because i see a lot of african kids running clean over here. them yeah, yeah. Kids were born yeah here. they are if bad. they were born here because when i was born back in ghana i don't talk back and I still don't. Mm -hmm. I will argue a little bit mm -hmm. now that I'm old enough. But <laughs> earlier on, you get smacked. You can get smacked real quick. My grandmother would not miss you when she throws something. She would chase, the thing would chase you all around the corner and still hit you. <laughs> so you don't talk back. You don't argue. You mm -hmm. just go with the flow. Mm -hmm. Even in schools, you get hit. Your mama will take you to school and tell your teacher, beat her up. And that's exactly what the teacher said. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, we had that in America, but I don't think they want that. But you know, that's how the police throw you in a heartbeat. That's the thing. And everybody, I don't care about that because you can't tell me how scared about um, the police issue. Where yeah. the kid, now here, the the American kids can call the police. They'll be like, if you touch me, I'm calling out. 911. By the time you find a phone in an African house. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you are not going to find that phone until they're done with you. Yes, you yeah. probably will see the night of day. You That's the benefits you guys have because if maybe if your kid get out of line, you'll send them right, right back, back to Ghana. Yeah. And you know, when by the time they come back, they'll be like, oh, mama, what you Not always. Today? Not, not really. always. You can do it mm -mm. here. Not always. You can do it here. It's much more, no, because back there they did learn that they don't have certain things that they have in America. And right. it's yeah. like an immediate luxury. I think when you take, see, the word America is a thing for African people. <laughs> God, let me put God in general. So don't, don't worry about my Ghana people. Don't be angry. They know what I'm saying is true. When you come from America, it's a different um, treatment. Mm -hmm. You know, so if you have the notion that your kid is gonna get better when you take him to God or God, any African country at all, no, that's a lie. That's a lie. Spoiled. They're gonna because get spoiled because those people are holding up your kid down there. Think that you will send them more money when if your kid your is comfortable. Kid comfortable. <laughs> oh, so you're okay. thinking over here, oh my kid is getting straight. Then you gonna bring it. That that kid is spoiled more than you ever thought. Mm -hmm. So it's it's, it's they still missing a lot though. It's still no. Like they go to school and they mingle with the other kids and they learn a little bit from the mm -hmm. other kids and they get straightened out every now and then in schools. But at home, because the people want them to be comfortable, mm -hmm. they're not gonna do it the way you want it to be done. Mm -hmm. Now over here, you can still do that. I think you can, because if in my house, no kid is getting out of line. It's not gonna right. happen. I snatch you right. You see quick. the benefit another benefit, even though you guys are doing missionary for thirteen years. Lord at least the, Jesus. the parents Still do the stay the parents do stay together. So you have a mother and a father, mm -hmm. you know, but yeah. a lot of us raise our kids singular. Yes. You said something that in Africa if um most African men stay with their baby mama. Cause that that, that is I, I think that is what should be done. Even mm -hmm. here. Despite the whole, you know, free rights and you can do whatever you want. But um, mostly back home, there, this is a house where the grandmother, a grandfather, sometimes a great-grandmother, 
okay mm -hmm. in there you you have an uncle you you have like three cousins there your own four siblings now this is a big family okay mm -hmm. this is a big family everybody wants attention and do you know what kids like best attention so if you if I, if this is my family mm -hmm. do you think you can misbehave mm -hmm. no if you're my kid do you think you're gonna get things handed to you you don't even get hand-me-downs and th and that's what um, African parents are good at taking that attention away grabbing it away I will give it to you provided you do the things I ask you to do mm -hmm. but in America um, I need you to do this nope I need this first before I do it that's what the kids want mm. the, the kids demand and the parents give in Africa the parents mm -hmm. demand and the kids give in fact they give twice okay when kids are brought from Africa to America mm -hmm. the only difference is now he knows he can pick his own clothes let me tell you something my clothes were picked out by my parents even at age 15 mm. because my father would not i was brought up in a military home my father would not let you walk about looking like anyhow no what about going out and dancing or no something? honey i didn't have that sorry too bad didn't have that mm -mm. Sorry, man. They, they have that. So I heard this thing that they have like a board in school and on Friday. Yep. You are, you are sneak up there. And we can sneak out, but don't be <laughs> That's the rule of the game. Yep. But then I know if some African women have their kids over here, they mm -hmm. send them back home for a while. Yes, when they, they first do. Have they do. We do. That is if you have strong backhold at home. Look, for me, I have a, um, a great aunt, a grandmother, a grandfather, three hungry aunties home if i take my child back home right now okay you gotta take her all of them. thank you now this now this is where it gets she tricky gotta what? She gotta take you, her all of them. look this is where it gets tricky do you want your your child to be a brat when they come back here or do you want your child to be a child see in america we treat kids as adults mm -hmm. Kids don't know how to be kids. Kids knows how to be adults. Mm -hmm. In Africa, kids are kids. Why adults are adults. That? Because honey is the truth. Okay? Well, it is so the truth. So you didn't think mm -hmm. I raised my kid to be kids? What did I have? What do you okay. think we have our kids doing to make them okay. act adult wise? I'm about to circle that for you real quick. Okay. Now, <laughs> in, in America, there is freedom of, um, there is child abuse, child harassment, um, Everything that concerning children has a stigmatization on it, okay? Mm -hmm. In Africa, we don't have that. Yeah, so right. always parents are right, okay? In this country, if you tell your child, um, honey, I need you to wash the dishes, your child will, will tell you that I have went to somebody's house. I'm a PCA. I've went to somebody's house. And there was a grandmother who was sick, and they needed a 15-year-old girl, okay, to just put a plate in a dishwasher. She told her mama to go get the plate herself and put it in the dishwasher. This will never happen in my house. <laughs> See, now that's the thing. I feel like here, parents know that if, if, if I spank my child, that is what? Child abuse. The child will call police on me. In Africa, which police are you going to call? The police will even help your parents beat you up. Um, the, yeah. yeah. Look, yeah. my father was a PTA chairman in my um, junior high school for three years. He ran three consecutive years. Do you think I got away with being late? No. My dad told my headmistress that if she comes to school late, even though I had house chores at home, if, it, if I come to school late, I should be punished. I felt I should be punished more than the other kids. And my headmistress did it. If I go to, if I fight at home, okay, if I fight at school, mm -hmm. And, and I, I carried that fight to my house. My father would beat me up. Because do you know why? You are not supposed to fight. Okay? If, 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 if you are having issues with somebody, you sit down and talk to them. That's how we are raised. So, so but what if they hit you? You don't hit back? No. You hit back, make sure you win. That's the thing. If you hit him back, make sure you win. Or else, close your mouth. Come and sit home and do whatever your parents are saying. Well, that's that's what we do now, here. Now, the kids, it's good. I heard the kids get in a fight. Okay, when your kid gets in a fight, they come home and they get grounded. Okay, you're grounded. <laughs> so, uh, what? Do yeah, what is grounding in Africa? You <laughs> wash your place for for five days. Nope. Nope. Not a, 
That's there is not because your whole life is grounded already. You don't need another grounded. You get beat at school. You get beat at school. Then you come, come home, home. You get you beat get again. Beat again before mm. your before your house chores. Well, all the time we are saying that the kid is on punishment or grounded is mm -hmm. if we got to find a scenario out. If they started it, then fine. Yeah, you grounded. Yeah, but if you good. finished it, then you okay. Yeah. See, that's the thing. The general thing is you're fighting. You are fighting. You are not supposed to fight. What if your eye came out during that fight? Walk off. If the person walk is off. Talking, you report it and walk off. Don't fight. That's the whole rule of the thing. But if you go ahead and fight, you have to win too because you can't. You cannot come on. I think kids here yeah, have a lot of privilege. So what were you saying about the fashion? You said you guys didn't wear most. Who is going to cover up? Sometimes. Oh. Okay. Yeah, because. You, you, but mm -hmm. now I hear out there that. Everybody's with the little booty shorts and I would do that. We yeah, we do, do that. that. We're not, we're not and not like, so much um, African garb. We we do we, we we let loose too sometimes. When when I'm home I, I do wear my booty shorts. No, I'm talking about when you're out on the road shopping yeah. or something. Oh, we we just dress we don't dress no, up like no. that. Uh -uh, no. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. Okay, so no. You know that um, most African countries were colonized, right? Mm -hmm. And this colonization was brought by mostly by the British. Now, mm -hmm. when a country has been colonized, they tend to depend on the, the mother country, which is the British. Mm -hmm. So the country starts to learn everything they learn from the British. Now, this is where it gets tricky. Because Africa itself is a supernatural country, mm -hmm. it's a whole entity, okay? Mm -hmm. So in an entity, there are rules you have to follow. Now, when you follow those rules, you get stick with it. Mm -hmm. So even if in the Western world, your mother country is, you know, going out in bikinis and all that, mm -hmm. it's very hard for you to meet a typical Ghanaian who has never, okay, gotten out of the country to wear two-piece bikini. It will be very hard. Mm. Okay, yes, it will be very hard. Even if she's going to the beach, you see her in some jeans, yes, some sure. light t shirt. Mm. Yes. I wear shorts. So, what is she going to the beach with all of that for? Yeah. I know, right? Right. It sounds funny to you, mm -hmm. but that is how we were brought up. We were brought up to cover up. We were brought up to. We have a saying in our language, it means that you are a lady and a lady is supposed to cover up. Every kid, every Ghanaian kid, and I'm going to say this again, every Ghanaian kid knows that it's in your head. So even if you come here, okay, and you wear, it, 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 the first time you wear something that reveals something small, you get conscious about it. It will take you time. Oh, okay. So what was the purpose of doing all these waist beads and all that to make your body? Nope. Pretty mm -mm. and stuff like that if you don't want to. Our it's a as significant to us in a, a whole different way than, than how y'all like, portray it. Really? To, oh. yeah. to shape the body. It's, it's supposed to shape us up. We start, I started wearing beads when I was a tiny baby. They put, that's the first thing they put It's the first thing a baby has on. Here, and here. And your your kneecaps, your, your calves, your, your, and your waist. Your, and your waist. So you're used to wearing those things. So when it's not around you, you feel it. You feel, you feel naked. You feel the void over there. But here, they, they like the beads. They like the fact that it's colorful. It's yeah, colorful. We mm -hmm. I see so beads. we can maintain our stomach. I see the beads on time. people, and it's outside their outfit. And Ooh, I'm looking like, what Lord. are you doing? I mean, but me dead and dead. I know that's not how you're supposed to wear them. But most people don't, okay? Most people don't. Now, that most African like things are coming out. Like yeah. like African clothes. People can buy yeah. African clothes online. Yeah. African yeah. sandals online. But why online. they charge so much for, like, it doesn't cost even that much back in Ghana. Well, they well, well, they well they're shipping it. They're, they're shipping, shipping it. Here. It's expensive. So, somebody is sewing it. it. You have to pay for labor. You have to pay for shipping. And a whole lot. So that, cost that, expenses. Mm -hmm. Before you get your profit out of it. You're, you're buying the cloth, first of all. Mm -hmm. You're sewing it. You got to mm -hmm. get the person sewing mm -hmm. it. And then after they sew, you have to package it. And then you have to ship it over mm -hmm. here. So they put that all in perspective Together. and they put it I mean, the that, those are the, probably the independent people. But a lot of people, when somebody going back home to Ghana, they bring in a suitcase from here and they bring in a suitcase Because I got the back. clothes from here. If I get right. the clothes from here and I go home... See, the dollar equivalent is also different back yeah. home. Mm -hmm. So, what looks like plenty over here is... No, what looks like small, small over here is plenty. plenty 
I can yeah. take $100 from here and take it back home and it's a lot of money. Mm. It's $5 million. It's not $100 anymore. It's $5 million to my Ghana cities. So I can get a lot of stuff from it. Yeah. Mm. Right? But here, I can't get a lot of stuff from a hundred dollars unless I go in the clearance section, <laughs> which is mostly my part. You know? <laughs> but uh, you can, when you take a hundred dollars back home, you get a lot more from that oh. than over here. That's why yeah. it looks like it's more expensive to you guys. But me personally, I don't buy stuff. I don't I, buy it either. I just come I don't out buy African it. clothes from here. If I wanted that bag, I do. I wait till I go no, I to Ghana. I do. Cause and they check. Cause I, I know. And get it on. I know mm-hmm. how much I can get it from from somebody that visits Ghana versus me going to the oh. store. So I call my my connect. Mm-hmm. The reason why I I good. mostly yeah. buy most of my African things um, in, on the internet is when let's say she's going home. I'm not going home, so I give her the stuff to go. Now, yeah. she has to pay for her flight. Okay, she has to pay for her flight, her in and out. Um, whoever she's going to give the club to, to, you know, to sew, it's going to take days, sometimes weeks. I'm not saying that But you've that long time. Yeah, but, but if I need it now, then I have to order it. And whatever the cost is, if, if you look at it, it's actually the same. I mm-hmm. think so, too. It says free shipping, three days. Well, if I give her $50... To get me something from home, she's gonna spend a whole month. Free shipping, three days, seventy dollars. So, what, what what are you gonna do? Seventy dollars. Well, most times it just makes sense. Yeah, true. Okay. And it's kind of equivalent. It doesn't okay. make any difference actually. Okay. So, Not too much. can I ask you guys something? I hear most, not that I hear, I've seen most um, African-American women dancing to um, Afrobeat. Do you know what Afrobeat is? Yeah. It's like a mix of it's soca, a, the drums, the Caribbean, Caribbean music, vibes. Spanish. Do you like Afrobeat more than um, your typical R&B? If they R&B? speak in English, sure. Well, we don't listen to R&B like that. No, okay, well, I mean hip-hop. My, I'm not listen no. to, we listen to Because I'm, I'm in a... Uh, generally. Like, these, them guys don't know what... They, they just be saying a bunch yeah, of different genres. Yeah, we only listen to... Them. I can't yeah, 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 the only thing in our yeah. So y'all like the Afro beats more? I listen to Afro beats. We party with them all yeah, the time. Uh, yeah. Okay. And, and do you think? To it. Yeah, we don't go to. <laughs> do you think body. African culture is um, indecently appropriated in this country? Yeah. Why? Um, no. Well, I, you mean is it appropriate in this country? Is it indecently appropriated no. in this country? No, I think it operate. I think everything is fine. I love it. I love to get to new, no, no, new countries. You know, people coming from different places. Mm-hmm. That's exactly how I am, and I love it. Yeah, I love everybody. I'm a people person. Yeah. So you think um, the African culture is helping African American know their roots? Not say know their roots, but, but explore ex- different yeah. things. You know, because we're still not going to find out where well, most African Americans not going to find out where we originated from. Mm-hmm. But we're going <laughs> to take what we find out from now and open ourselves and move forward from now. So it's very beneficial. It's very beneficial to me too. So. You know, so hopefully you guys learn something about coming to America. Oh, we're learning already. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thanks, guys, for coming over and talking with me. You know, we're going to do this much, much more many times and. You know, until our next adventure. We'll see you guys later. Free up.